Hi, it's Andy from the HPP Group and today we're going to have a brief look in this short video at how to establish breakout rooms inside Teams meetings. So here we have a meeting, Project X Progress meeting in our Teams area and if we click here we can edit the meeting. So you can set the breakout rooms prior to the meeting taking place because you can see we have five participants in our meeting and from this button here we can establish the breakout rooms. So I'm going to select it as this and now we see have room one and room two. We have the ability to change those rooms or if we wish we can click here and we can rename the room if we want but we're just happy in this case with room one and room two. And currently clearly there's no participants in either of them because we've not assigned them so let's assign the participants and we can do two things here. We can say automatically assign the, the two or three people to each room is two or three people because we've got five participants and two rooms in this case that would do it automatically or we could decide ourselves manually who goes in which room so if you click the manually assign rooms assign people to rooms and click next then you can decide which individual is going into which room so I can put this Andrew in room one and this Andrew in room two and similarly so you, you get the general idea here nothing complicated at all and so now we've assigned anybody to to the rooms that's fine and we could click on save and we can go from there straightforward enough so we tick them to acknowledge and away we go now if you had done that first time you set up a breakout room they would stay in place and say there was a, another breakout room later in the meeting you would shuffle them and that would do exactly what it says on the tin assign everybody randomly. So we'll simply save that and that has established our breakout rooms, three here, two here, uh, for the breakout session. Thanks for watching.